it's really difficult for me to know what's going to be the fu what's going to be the future for Marina, but I would hope that this is the start of many trips to Ireland, and which will ultimately prolong her life span, which has been proven. So um, hopefully, the fresh air and the good food and everything is going to be um, a great advantage to her. She is going today to see her doctor and she is then going to be fitted for her new wheelchair. So she'll be nice and comfortable when she goes back to the orphanage. Just keep your fingers straight now. Oh, my fingers, sorry. Keep it close, keep it down. Yeah. Keep the finger. I've had a great month. It's just been amazing. I can't, I can't describe it. I know I'm young and I know, like, I probably, People look at me and go, God, you should be off travelling or you should be going out or this and that. Australia's not going anywhere and neither is anywhere else. You know, I don't know. Marina, her life, if, we don't know what her life expectancy is, but if I can add to and contribute to it being maybe a little bit longer, that's so important to me. Natasha Tatarinsev is a 33-year-old lone parent. Her son Sasha is 12. She has a tumour on her spine and cannot walk. Sasha has severe brain damage. He had a tonsils operation when he was a year old. It was carried out without anaesthetic and went terribly wrong. Уверен, что мой ребенок захлебнулся кровью, что у него было кровотечение, что Поэтому остановилось сердце, было задето что-то и было кровотечение, потому что была неоднократно большая рвота кровью. I, I, I'm shocked when I see the condition of Sasha here and I, I just keep on, you know, in my memory looking back to the operation procedures that we saw for exactly the same operation yesterday and which was quite barbaric the way the, the tonsils are just literally torn out of the body and children are gurgling on their own blood and listening to, you know, his mama here saying how he gurgled on his blood and she's convinced that some sort of infection um, happened during that. What should have been just a normal routine procedure has had just this extraordinarily terrible um, outcome which has left Sasha completely disabled. Мне надо досмотреть ребенка. Мне надо, пока он живет, чтобы я была с ним. Я не могу сама рассказать, что я для него делаю. Это надо быть со мной видеть, тогда человек поймет, что я ему нужна не какой-то интернат. It's just an overwhelming situation. I mean, the mother is here by herself with very little state support. She also has a, you know, a tumour on her spine. She doesn't know her own prognosis, her own, her own outcome. I'm sure the questions that run through her mind are who's going to look after Sasha if something happens to her. She's doing her best to avoid putting him into a state institution or an orphanage um, because she loves her son. I mean, this mother, obviously, you can see radiating out from her the love, the care, the responsibility that she feels for Sasha. Много людей. Несмотря на то, что я с ребенком стали инвалидами, я хочу, чтобы мой ребенок получил достаточно внимания, достаточно ухода и самое главное любви от меня, от мамы. Ну и чтобы его жизнь не была тяжелой, чтобы он не испытывал боли, которые он совершенно не заслужил в этой жизни, но совершенно ни в чем не виноватое дитё. И я хочу, люблю и обязана 
смотреть своего ребенка. И очень хочу с ним жить дома. То, что нам бывает очень тяжело, потому что мы одиноки. Вот. Но у меня огромное желание помочь своему ребенку ну, столько, сколько мы будем жить. She gave birth to what was, you know, a healthy boy, and now she's left with a boy in this condition. It, it just is just shocking, shocking to the core. We're making him as comfortable as we can for as long as we possibly can. And Sasha is just one of many children, but in a sense, I suppose he is the witness on this day of these children that need our help. There's always a weight, I think, that you bring home with you from Belarus. Well, certainly I always feel a weight because you know how big the problem is and how, how much you're just scratching the surface. So it does feel, it, it can feel very um, dark some days. But um, when you see people come together to do extraordinary things, to give up their holidays, to get out here, to you know, just work with children who are in just such a dire strait. Um, it's, it's just inspiring. I think the Irish just, everywhere you go in the world where there's problems, the Irish pop out from behind hedges. They're there. They're there before you. And they're still there when you leave. And um, it, it's, um, it's a great thing to be part of that nation.